Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I will be showing you how I customize my lace frontals. So, if you're interested in seeing how I bleach the knots on this frontal, be sure to check my previous video which will be linked down below. So after I securely tack down my frontal, I'm going to go in with a comb and I'm going to section the hair. I always work in sections, it's just so much easier. So I'm going to part off a small section of the hair and I'm going to start to tweeze on both sides of the part, being sure to space out the sections in which I'm tweezing. So you don't want to tweeze strand for strand right next to each other because you don't want to create like noticeable ball spots. We're just trying to tweeze enough hair so that it thins out this unrealistic looking hairline. So don't be afraid to tweeze. It's going to look like a lot of hair that you're removing, but trust me, it's all worth it. So the whole purpose of customizing your frontal is to get it to look like a natural hairline. So keep in mind the dips that you have in your natural hairline. My natural hairline has quite a few dips, so I'm just trying to mimic that because I want to get it to look as natural as possible. So this process is really repetitive. I'm going to continue to part the hair throughout the frontal. I'm going to go about six parts back, tweezing on each side of the part. If you're afraid of tweezing too much, just go ahead and flip the hair back occasionally just to see what your hairline is looking like. So from here on, I'm just going to speed it up and continue tweezing this side of the frontal and then I'm going to move on to the middle and complete the other side. I'm not going to talk too much because like I said, this process is pretty repetitive. If you guys have any questions or you feel like I skipped through some important steps, feel free to drop that down below. So at this point I have completed the one side and I'm just moving on to the middle and I'm repeating the same steps as I did on the first side, parting back, tweezing from both sides of the part, continuing to part back till I get my desired look. Keeps 
So here I'm just going to show you all the hair that I received after tweezing and I'm going to comb the hair back so you can see what my hairline looks like after tweezing to what I think is a realistic hairline for me. So I think it looks pretty good and I'm going to go ahead and I finish the other side off camera. So right here I'm just parting it in different places so you can see what it looks like as opposed to before. It's a lot more natural, a lot less dense. So yeah, after this, I'm just going to lay those baby hairs. Thinning out the baby hairs, I'm going to just set them into place using a wrapping lotion and then I put my scarf on it, let it dry and that's about it. That's my desired look and I like it. So if you guys like this video, be sure to thumbs it up and if you want to see part 3 which will be the construction of a frontal wig, be sure to thumbs this video up and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. So until next time, y'all babies better stay beautiful. Oh, 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 oh,